Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to continue with our 10 minute series on psychology introduction unit. Unit 1, part 2A. The topics which are going to be dealt in part 2A is history and origin of psychology. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, students who are studying general psychology, and also students who are studying B.Ed. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's see what are all the contents what we are going to discuss in this part 2A video. History and origin of psychology and schools of psychology. In my part 1 video, I have discussed with introduction to psychology and meaning of psychology, father of psychology as well as uh, um, meaning of behavior. If you have not watched my part 1 video, I have given the link in description box, suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos. Let's move on to the topic. So in my part 1 video, as I have told earlier, I have uh, discussed with uh, the father of psychology. I have discussed about the father of psychology, Wilhelm Bund. So here is a photograph of the great father of psychology, Mr. Wilhelm Bund. Next, moving on to the history and origin of science of psychology. In 1979, the first psychological laboratory was established at the University of Leipzig by the German philosopher and psychologist Wilhelm Und. He is considered as the father of psychology and he defines psychology as the study of consciousness. So, in 1879, the first psychological laboratory was set up at the University of Leipzig by the German philosopher Mr. Wilhelm Und. He is a philosopher as well as psychologist. He was the one who first studies the human behavior and he told that psychology can be defined as the study of consciousness. That's why he is considered as the father of psychology. Next, William James and uh, Wilhelm Und and other psychologists of that period or time, they thought psychology is the study of mind. Okay, mostly William James, he told that psychology is the study of mind. Okay, initially Wilhelm Und told that psychology is the study of consciousness, but later uh, many other psychologists like William James and all know, he told that psychology is not only the study of consciousness, it is the study of mind. Slowly the meaning has been changed from uh, soul to consciousness to mind or behavior like that. Let's see how the evolution of meaning has been changed from one period to other period. So initially psychology is considered as the study of soul. Later it was considered as the study of mind. Later it was considered as the study of conscious behavior. Sorry consciousness. Then it was uh, considered as the study of behavior. So initially psychology is considered as the study of soul which was shifted to mind then conscious experience. Now the study of psychology is considered to the study of behavior. Next we will see the schools of psychology. So you have five schools of psychology, structuralism, gestalt psychology, functionalism, behaviorism and psychoanalysis. Structuralism, gestalt psychology, functionalism, behavioralism and psychoanalysis. Let's see these schools one by one. So, the early school of psychology was established by Wilhelm and student Mr. Edward B. Titchener. Okay, he developed the school of psychology structuralism. Okay, what he believed is that the 
mind is made up of many units or elements mind is made up of so many elementary units okay many elementary units forms the mind this was believed by structuralism so structuralism who has uh, found this structuralism school this early school of psychology was found by wilhelm und uh, student mr edward b tichner what is the goal of this structuralist they thought that mind is made up of many elementary units and how we can found out these elementary units is by means of introspection by introspection we can find out these elementary units of mind so this was dealt in structuralism next moving on to gestalt psychology okay so this gestalt psychology was found in germany in the year 1912 by max wertheimer so this was found in germany in the year 1912 by max wertheimer and his colleagues okay max wertheimer and his colleagues found this gestalt psychology gestalt the meaning of gestology is whole w h o l e whole okay so they told that mind is made up of the whole sensory pattern activity okay these psychologists they told or they argued that mind is to be considered as the whole pattern of sensory activity and the relationship and organization within this pattern but what structuralists told they told that mind is made up of various units or elements but this gestalt psychologists they they argued that mind is not made up of units or elements and mind has to be considered as a whole in terms of sensory activity and the and based on the sensory activity your relationship your organization your behavior will be existing okay so these psychologists they they never accepted structuralist um, psychology they told that mind is made up of various uh, sensory pattern activity and its organization and its relationship with this pattern next to moving on to functionalism functionalists like john dv and james r angle and harvey care they proposed that what psychology should do is what mind and behavior do what mind and behavior do is what psychology they told so they have performed various experiments and they have identified how learning memory problem solving and motivation help people as well as animals to adapt to their environment okay so they told that your learning your memory your problem solving and motivation will make people and animal to adjust to their environment and they have conducted many experiments also based on learning memory problem solving and motivation next moving on to behaviorism so this was found by john b watson in behaviorism behavior is given more important so psychology is nothing but the study of activities of people and animals in terms of their behavior so they have given importance to behavior next to moving on to psychoanalysis very very important this was found by sigmund freud okay who is considered as the father of psychoanalytic theory okay so he developed this psychoanalysis he told that our behavior is based on the unconscious level drives also unconscious wishes or unconscious drives in dream analysis theory sigmund freud told that dreams are unfulfilled wishes of an individual dreams are unfulfilled uh, wishes of an individual he also told that uh, um, our behavior is mainly the expression of our uh, unconscious drive which are in the unconscious that will ex be exhibited or shown up in our behavior and thought so the five schools of psychology or structuralism gestalt psychology functionalism behaviorism and psychoanalysis 
So my next video will be on major perspectives of psychology and major landmarks in the development of psychology. A quick recap of what we have seen in this video. In this video we have seen about the history and origin of science of psychology, evolution of psychology from soul, mind, experience and behavior and the schools of psychology mainly structuralism, gestalt psychology, functionalism, behaviorism and psychoanalysis. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and I card. Thank you friends.